We have two big tournaments on next week. On the men's side, ATP 500s first starting off in Halle, Germany, where a lot of the Russians are playing because, of course, they can't play in the UK. So they're playing in this event. But let's start with the withdrawal list because some big names are not playing this event due to injury. We start with Harris. Lloyd Harris has pulled out. I'm not sure why, but he's not playing. Yannick Sinner's not playing because of his knee injury that he sustained on the clay. And of course, Sasha Zverev, he won't be playing for a while. And he pulled out of this event as well. But there is some big names playing. So let's start with the top of the draw. There are eight seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round, which is kind of interesting. Starting with Medvedev. He plays Goffan in the first round. Medvedev, the number one seed. That's tough. Tough first round for Medi. Uh, winner of that match will play either Avashka or Struff in the second round. Then you've got Molkan versus the qualifier. Winner of that plays either Fuchovic or the number seven seed, Batista Agu. Then you've got the number three seed, Rublev, taking on Basilashvili. That is a banger first round match. Winner of that match takes on either Ott or Kecmenovic in the second round. Then you got Jera versus the wildcard Squire. Winner of that match takes on either Karatsev or the number eight seed Hashinov in the second round. There are so many crazy unseeded players. This is a stacked event. Can you imagine if Zverev was playing? Uh, a lot of players to watch out for, of course, but unfortunately, all the players you should be watching out for are the ones who won't be playing Wimbledon. So this is going to be interesting to see who plays well at this event because, unfortunately, for the big seeds, most of them can't even play uh, at Wimbledon. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number five seed, Hercatch. He takes on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or Umber in the second round. Then we've got uh, McDonald taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will play the Giron on the number four seed, FAA, in the second round. Then you've got Karina Busta, number six seed, taking on Runa. Well, I'm very interested to see play on the grass and see how he adapts to the grass courts. Winner of that match takes on either Corder or Garen in the second round. Then you've got Nick Kyrgios. He's playing Altmaier in the first round, and we just saw Kyrgios explode. Let's see if he can get back on track next week. Winner of that match will take on either Bonzi or the number two seed, Sidzipas. Sidzipas Kyrgios. That is a fire second round matchup. Hopefully we get it, but uh, it's going to be interesting. There's a lot of players down this part of the draw that, I mean, the second half of the draw, everyone's playing at Wimbledon. Uh, at this stage. A lot of qualities as well. Bear played it well here last year. FAA beat Federer here last year. Her catch is good on grass. Curious. I feel the bottom half of the draw is where the player is going to come out and win this event. But let me know in the description or the in the comments down below or the chat who's going to win this tournament. It's a tough one for me. Like I said, I think maybe maybe FAA, her catch maybe. Um, I'm probably going to go with her catch. I think her catch might be able to do better than he did this week. This week he didn't do great. he would probably do better next week. Or is it going to be one of the Russians maybe? Maybe one of the Russians up the top. Maybe Rublev. Maybe Medvedev. 